modern day women just don't qualify for the top tier men, and that is the truth. Do you believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six mm. foot four, only about what? 8% of the entire world is six foot four. I make well over 100, 100K a year. And I'm black at that if you add that on. Mm. So just if we're speaking about those figures, the things that women are attracted to, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I'll let you do the math. It's not real. None of it is real. Can you imagine the starting no. YouTube channel and just like talking about YouTube every day, like, you know we rank in the top 0.1% of all YouTube channels? That's why we're a top tier YouTube channel. Yeah. Absolutely. And when there's two black men, which makes it even more rare. If that's just shut the f up and just yeah. do cut it. Yeah, it's really. We've made over yeah. a thousand videos, 95% of them all monetized. We are the top 0.0.1%, which is not even a real percentile, but it doesn't matter. You understand? That's f***ing weird. Yeah. Now that you put it that way, it's weird. Yeah, we are top tier YouTube. Stop. Don't, don't. I think we might you be the, walk, the top top walk. five YouTube duos you, of all time. You can walk. Name a better duo than us. It's like three, four of the max. I mean, I know there's none in the UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just say it. That's us, bro. <laughs> top tier. I'm never gonna get And it. the modern fan doesn't even the qualify. Modern fan. Yo, the modern fan, like you, oh, you the modern wow. audience doesn't qualify for a YouTube channel like ours. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Y'all don't qualify. Modern fan. That's it. That's funny. That's it. <laughs> but you know what? Bruh. That's how ridiculous it sounds. Bruh. Bruh. That's hilarious. <laughs> <I'm> just like... <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's cringe when you hear it. Mm -hmm. When you hear these guys. Yeah, guys. I was gonna say and girls, but you don't... I don't know. I don't really feel like I hear women saying like, oh, I'm in the top tier or whatever. They say other cringe stuff. But I feel like the whole... That is the equivalent to I'm a 10. I guess. That's what it is. It's the equivalent to I'm a 10 when they not a 10. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. That's that's a man saying, I'm a 10. He doing a lot more than that, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, no, he's giving you details. He's running the list. Bruh. That's it. Just call a spade a spade. You guys don't deserve us. Y'all not grateful enough. Y'all don't pay enough money. You know what I'm saying? What did I say that's wrong? You sound like... We offer four to five videos a week free for these cheap bastards. Bro right? Brokies. Brokies. <laughs> and they're going to sit here and try to tell me how to run this channel. You guys are ungrateful. Yo. And the modern yeah. audience does not deserve Because if you think about it, 20, 30 years ago, think about how, how traditional audiences used to be. Yo. They used to faint when you walked in the room. They used to throw hundreds of dollars for you at a concert for a meet and greet. These niggas want to talk to you in the DMs for free. The modern audience That's doesn't crazy. deserve top tier quality entertainers like us. Congratulate. That was crazy. Because think about it. <laughs> think I about make, this. I, 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 we, we, this channel makes over a million dollars a year. Think about this. Okay, think about this. Makes over a million dollars a year, so we're in the top percentage just on that alone. And we're black, so if you factor that in, cool. And we're both- <laughs> Yo, okay, so they just like they just made it <laughs> really, really in. silly. <laughs> they made it stupid. But you know what's funny though? But what else, did he say anything else or that was it? That was the list? The, the guy? He's 6'4", he makes over 100. K a year, and then he's black. oh, and he's black. Yeah, so that's it. That, that was that was that, that was, was it. it so th that clip went viral. That's why I did. That's why we're doing it now because that clip went viral. Now this guy on his podcast, he's obviously a red pillar, and he's a part of the new crop of red pill creators. So he has all of that stuff that he was saying. He makes money. He's tall. He's black, mm -hmm. right? But then something else went viral. So in line with red pill thought, he's one of those don't date single moms. So that's where the controversy came out because people found out this specific thing about him and we're gonna show it now. Thanks to O'Shea Duke Jackson. The No Fugazi podcast, the guy Cooley, the, the most viral moments that I've seen from him were how, how he, he was talking about how he's high value because he's 6'4 and because he's black and because he makes over um, six figures. He didn't say about who he was as a person, but that's neither here nor there. He's telling these women that they don't qualify for a guy like him. And then he also says single moms are recreational use only. Oh boy. Man's wiped Ooh. up a whole single mom of two. Wait, he's married to single mom? Not not married, but like they're pregnant with this with their second child together. She's a very nice white woman. I had to look into some of this information because they were saying that this brother was in a relationship with a single mom. But I'm like, nah, especially how he talks about single moms. This can't be the truth. As a single mom, if you choose a man that's hitting that 
he hitting them kids too. If he has the ability to be in between your soul gaps and hitting that pussy, he gonna hit Lil Dayday when Dayday acting up. If he providing and taking care of you, well guess what? Why would a man take on all of that responsibility with no authority? That's slavery. So if you choose wisely on a guy that you choose to have sex with, that same guy should be able to discipline your kids. That's what I'm saying. He must embody some good characteristic traits to hit that If not, then that means that you value your too low and you letting some rugged hit it. Okay, you heard that? What about this one? As a single mom, you don't know what I had done, gone through. And sometimes we don't even choose to be a single mom. It's like, well, let's pick one point by uh, point. You do choose to be a single mom. How? A man can't have sex with you unless you grant access to sex. Mm -hmm. And not only that, how many times has a man broken up with you? No. How None. Many? None. Zero. So no men mm -hmm. broke up with you. Right. How many men have you broken up with? A little mm -hmm. bit, a lot, what? How many men have you broken up with? <laughs> it has been a mutual. No, 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 listen, listen. How many men have you broken up with? It shit didn't work out. No, so no, 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 that's not the question. No, How many yes. men have you broken up with? <laughs> Four. You proving my point right there. No, I so didn't. So you choose the man to have sex with and then you break up with them. This is why you're a single mom also, because you because are the problem and you broke up with these oh, You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom, now you a single mom. So when somebody was saying that, you know, this is true, I'm like, nah, man, they gotta be hating on the guy, so. What do you think of all of this information? I wish people would just put things, I guess, in context. There's a lot of buzzwords that we use because you hear them on social media with- The Reverend Minister. <laughs> Kevin Samuels. Samuels. There was a lot, you know, that he would say that are like catchphrases, not like high value man and things of that nature. So people take it and they run, run with it. I understand what he meant as far as a high value guy. Everybody doesn't necessarily utilize that same definition or they focus on maybe a portion of the definition and not the other part of the definition as well. And it's just, like I was saying earlier, it's just cringe, like hearing him saying like, well, I'm, I'm six foot four and I make over, you know, a hundred K a year and, and I'm black. So, you know what I'm saying? So that makes me basically a top tier guy. Excuse me. They didn't use high value. They use top tier, same difference. Mm -hmm. But still it's just like, mm. now if you want to say I will be considered a hot commodity, because of these things, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm tall and most women want tall guys, because I do make over six fig figures and it's in a woman's nature to want a guy who can be able to provide for them. So the more money I make, the you know, the more valuable I will seem in the dating market or whatever that I can, I can get. But I don't know, it just comes across like very like arrogant, like, yeah, well, this, this me, this what I got, what you got, what you bring into the table. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That conversation and it's just, it's boastful and it's just like, I think you said it before, like we still in high school, like why are we still having like these, it feels like a competition. Why are we competing like with the opposite sex? Like if you're trying to get with them, I feel as though you want to present yourself in a way that's going to be most attractive. I don't think it makes sense for you to lead with vinegar instead of honey. And that's what I feel like a lot of times these red pill content creators do. Mm -hmm. Like I understand they're, you know, they're trying to put certain messages out there because for far too long, men have been silenced and they haven't been able to speak certain truths for women to be able to like really understand what they want and where they're coming from. At the same time, it's a way in which you have to do it if you wanna be able to hear people. Like, you know, the, the saying is you can attract more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. So it's just like, you just have to, your messaging, the way how you present it, that package, that box, you can't just be making it look all rinky dink, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, Bruh. I did have one other thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that was to speak on the part as far as him being hypocritical. Correct me if I'm wrong. What he was saying is that if a guy is going to be with a single mom, then basically he needs to be able to discipline the children, right? Yes. I'm not familiar with, with Fugazi's podcast or whatever. I don't know if he's said anything other than that, if that has pretty much been his messaging or if he's been on a more of an Anton Daniels and be like, yo, you're a crash, crash dummy, mm -hmm. daddy. Yeah. Basically, if you're a stepdad, I don't know if that's his 
philosophy on it. Mm-hmm. So if that's his philosophy, then yeah, like you looking mad hypocritical because you obviously out here in these streets with whoever that was in the picture, which I'm assuming is your woman, because you there, y'all taking family photos together and them all ain't your kids. Nope. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, mm-hmm. those are two different things. Right. So it just depends on where his messaging is with right. that. All right, guys, so I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like button. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit that notification button. Mm-hmm. I need you to hit all the buttons. Thank you. <laughs> everything that they that they were saying, everything she said, now play this. So why do we have our balloon unpopped? I mean, she fire. She beautiful, you <laughs> know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. Thank and you. Why do we end up popping in? I love your eyes. Thank you. I love your fit. Thank you. I love all of that. And Thank the way you. you're, like, looking at me is, yeah. Um, but I think it was your profession. You don't like mailman? I do. Um, but I think I'm looking for someone who's ambitious. Um, so I would would follow up you know, with that on like how long you've been doing that? Do you want to do something? I did. I, I see. He, I called it, bro. But that's 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 so sad. Oh, that's so sad, bro. Let's let's see. Let's see how much postal. Let's see how much mailmen make. First of all, let's first of all, first of all, first of all, let's see. Let's see what the average. What, could, what did she say she did for a living? I forgot. It wasn't nothing crazy and impressive, dog. This is this is the effects of social media and f- unrealistic delusion type bull that's gonna leave her sitting flat on her face. Is why she's on this show right now looking for a man because she just on a m- that works for the post office, bro. Average salary for men in U.S. forty six thousand dollars, forty five nine hundred two. Okay. So being a mailman is 40K to 75K, average 60 grand. Being a postmaster, which is a supervisor, is 60K to 100K. So here's my take. I'm happy my wife got all her stuff out because, you know, she probably not going to talk for the rest of the video because I'm going to take it over. <laughs> Number one, I don't watch a whole lot of the, the No Fugazi podcast. I've seen some of his clips. Mm-hmm. I think we actually re- reacted to one thing, but I don't think it ever came out. Oh. where he was talking about women are entitled and then he explained why they're entitled. I know in the video, we were like, oh. Oh man, whoa. The way he said it, it was just like, oh dang, I never thought about it like that. That was actually pretty good. Okay. And Aber and Preacher are no exception to this. People will get to a point where it's easier to categorize somebody than to actually figure out what they're really saying. Mm-hmm. If somebody is presenting as a red pill content creator, it's easier to just go, oh, you fall into this niche, mm-hmm. so you must think this, than to actually figure out what somebody says. Right. Yep. The issue that I have with all of this, later on in the video, I think that Avin Preach made a comment, which you didn't see, where he was like, Yo, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, but you started all of this, man. Yeah. People like this is because of you. Yes. And we got to understand that he started a revolution of people just saying wild stuff. Mm-hmm. Here's the problem. The guy didn't say anything wild from what I saw. Now, if he has other things, like you said, that's like the Anton Daniels take, then... <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you, you got to be like, dang, bro, what you talking about? Right. But he's just saying, if a man is to take on the responsibility of a single mom, then he has to have authority in the house like mm-hmm. he is the actual father mm-hmm. because he's taking on all of the responsibility responsibility right that doesn't mean that he won't have a single mom Mm -hmm. if he was to say in the dating market single moms have less value to men than a single woman with no children Mm -hmm. all of those are facts facts Mm -hmm. him being six foot four not six one but six four Mm -hmm. him making well over six figures Mm -hmm. him being a black man especially amongst the black community Mm -hmm. yes i know y'all hate to hear it but just like she said those are all facts. Facts. And we did a video <laughs> where this guy actually broke down why the dating market is like that. Because the reality is this is what a lot of women are saying is bare minimum for them to take you seriously. Bruh. Not your character. Nope. This is true. That's true. That woman just eliminated a dude because he worked for the post office. I'm eliminating you because on average, you probably make between forty to $75,000 a year. I don't even and think she knew not, that. Uh, that's I don't not, think she knows but that. No, but she, first of all. It's just the title. It's just the, the fact even that you're if, a mailman. Even if you say you're a mailman, everybody know the pay is only one part of the post office thing as far as the benefits for working there they benefits 
and their health coverage and their 401 bruh, bruh. the post office take care of their people mm -hmm. yes. all of that stuff is top that's good mm -hmm. that's really good that was another thing Abraham Priest said. The what? people that you guys watch don't necessarily exemplify the things that you guys are talking about. Cause like they talked about how Kevin Samuels, it might've been another video. Kevin Samuels, even though it's like, he was very smart and all of this other stuff, right. but he was a divorcee, he wasn't married. He, he didn't okay. hold together a long-term successful relationship. So mm -hmm. can, should you really be the person talking to people about long-term successful relationships? Sounds familiar. And that was the thing that shocked me and made Kevin Samuels such a unique figure to me me mm -hmm. because when I tested the things he was saying I found so much truth yep. mm -hmm. not 100% but so much truth and he was not in a successful relationship but he was right about so much yes. mm -hmm. that was the thing about him that threw me off I was gonna say I don't feel like he necessarily spoke on how to have a long lasting relationship but yeah I guess he did he sort of kind of did because yeah, when you started to get into more than just the viral moments mm -hmm. and you started to get into him actually going into some real detail about relationships mm -hmm. he was getting in there yeah. He he was getting in there with some of his commentary where he was really digging beyond the surface, depending on how much of his content you consumed. If you just consumed the Instagram the posts sound bites. and the, the TikToks, then no, you didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. But if you actually sat through some of that stuff, like he really was digging in there with a lot of truth and he caught a lot of people out and called a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of people out here who will speak on him, especially now that he's passed, that would not be able to sit with him and have a conversation and survive it. He would read you up and down, yep. literally, because their lives don't match up to what they say either. Here's my challenge, I guess. I don't know if I would call it a challenge or my thing. It is best to get the information from somebody who has what you want, which is one of the reasons why we on YouTube, because we've been married for 19 years yes. and it's been a pretty darn good marriage. Yep. I'm gonna just say that it just has. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, he's sucking up, man. Yeah, some of us actually have good relationships. <laughs> I know all of y'all don't understand and we're not talking about you, the people that are a part of the village we're not yeah, talking not about y'all because y'all are perfect mm -hmm. yep. and everybody who's sub to us is perfect so we're not talking about you but yep. we're talking about other people who are new and coming into it and seeing it and getting upset about certain yes. things yes some of us actually have happy marriages <laughs> where we have really good relationships with our wives are we 100% where I think we need to be no nope. because we move in with Jesus now and I wasn't with Jesus all the time and he got different rules for how you run your relationship yes. and so I got to change some things and she got to change some things but here's the thing she's willing to do it because she wants to be a good wife biblically and because she wants to be a good wife biblically the things that she has to change she is willing to change and to make an effort to change and if she messes up she says I'm sorry babe my bad I'm gonna try better and then she actually does it you know what there are women out there who do that <laughs> There are men out there who do that, who screw up and say, I'm not the man or the leader that I need to be, and I'm going to try harder. And they actually try harder and then fail and mess up and then get up and dust themselves off and try again. Yep. Mm. That happens, everybody. Everybody wants it to be this. She has to be subservient and bow before me and say, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> that I, Or we want the guy who's like the CEO or the general manager of the Yankees. And every guy you date has to be that guy. Like, it don't work like that. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a work in progress. And I know that more than probably most because I screwed up really bad and I'm fixing it. Yep. So for those of you who are in that space where you screwed up really bad and you're fixing it, hey, how y'all doing? You can come on in the village because we all are here together. <laughs> Something's gone wrong. I think there has to be a differentiation. While I understand it's better to have someone who's actually doing and successful at what you want, those are the people you should check into first. Yes. If you want to learn how to make money, go to somebody who already got money. Yep. If you want a good, if you want a good marriage, go to somebody who's already married, right? Especially if they have the intelligence to be able to articulate how they got there. That, part. Right. that is what you want, 100%. Here's the thing. You still need to be able to look at somebody and be like, are you telling the truth or not? And then separate that from your feelings. Right. Because a lot of people have feelings about the red pill because of how they speak, but the reality is, most of the points you can't rebut it because it's true ouch yeah and, and the truth hurts sometimes yes and that video that we popped up there before really tells us why it's true it's mm -hmm. because we made a decision to have the freedom to date a certain way and consequences come with the way that we are dating and now we eating them so mm -hmm. everybody instead of complaining about what's on your plate go get your fork and get your knife put your bib on and just get to work <laughs> eating up the consequences of the thing that you have done it's just that simple we made decisions to date a certain way and there are consequences so 
So we all need to just eat up. Mm. That's all it is. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. It's terrible. I wish it was better. I'm happy I'm not in it. But I'm going to try to help everybody that comes over here to make sure that they can get what they want out of life and out of relationships. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to sit up in that terrible dating market for as long as you have. If you want to find that out, go dig into some of our videos because we got a lot of stuff in there that'll help you guys to be able to navigate the mess that is the dating market. Um, And even better, to realize that when somebody's there that's worth keeping, you keep them instead of throwing them away. Like what so many other people, like people that go on the Pot the Balloon show do all the time. More often than not, when I watch that show, I go, dang, that's why you single. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. You can see exactly Because why. the things that you're judging on, they suck. Mm. And going back to Abin Preacher's first point, um, and me, even some of the points of some of the other people, these clips that you've seen, character matters more than all of that other stuff. Yes, so what if he's the devil, Bruh. Rick? At least the devil has a job. <clears throat> At least he's active in the community. Wow. What do you do? Bye bye I'm sorry. I know y'all really stuck on it. Y'all think that y'all can get Superman or <laughs> Lex Luthor or whoever the heck you're trying to get. But being with a rich person ain't what you think it is. Nope. Mm. Being at w- with the most beautiful woman ain't what you think it is. Nope. Just letting you know. Well, if you guys made it this far, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on your post notifications so that way you can let you to know that you appreciate what we're putting down. What we're putting putting down. down. All right. right. Hey, everybody. Down in the description, there are two links. One is to a GoFundMe, and the other one is to a video that explains what the GoFundMe is for. Mm -hmm. Long story short, we have a medical situation with our daughter that we have to pay for everything out of pocket, and we can really use you guys' help. If you have the time, uh, we'd love for you to go check it out. If you have the money, the funds, we'd love for you guys to help. If not, maybe you could send a link to somebody else who can't help. Uh, We thank you for your time. Thank you. Peace. Press the off button.